looking for its suit. The Honourable Tau Hinari. Mr Speaker, I need to meet you, King Amore, who is a friend of Ki o Tautai. Me o rātou Naue, me o rātou A Wangawanga, me o rātou Mamai Rane. Sir, uh, I want to turn my eyes to a, uh, the passing of, uh, of a lady that I held in, in uh, great regard, uh, uh, Professor Judith Binney, uh, sir, some weeks, uh, some weeks back. Uh, so I wanted to uh, take the first opportunity that I had uh, to mihi kia ia, me tōna mahi, uh, i roti uh, ngai tūhoi. Uh, sir, I want to say thank you to Tariana Turia. Uh, sir, for, for sticking to her guns. Sir, for not only disagreeing with her party by going out on a limb, uh, for one particular kopapa. And when I and I've got a, I've got a whole lot of notes here and a whole lot of uh, speeches to do, uh, which won't fit into uh, the measly little ten minutes uh, that we get. But sir, uh, when when you're asking yourselves whether this should go through or not, shouldn't you ask the party or the person? who actually laid it on the line, who gave up her seat for that particular kopapa, the repeal of the 2004 seabed, uh, Foreshore and Seabed Act, sir. And wouldn't you ask yourself, sir, on your travels, where's the 50,000 people that congregated outside these halls back in the day against the 2004 Foreshore and Seabed Act, sir. And where, where's the apology? Not one of the Labour members have got up and said, I apologise on behalf of the Labour caucus what we did to Māori. And then they have the temerity, sir, to get up and out and talk as if some, from a, some sort of sanctimonious pixie dust position, sir that what they are doing, they want to engage in a political process. Sir, the facts are, they are not government anymore. Sir, the facts are, we are the majority. That's how things work. How come they are so opposed to that when they are the minority? But they use the tactics when they are in the majority, sir. Sir, I want to start, sir, by reading something from the report from the Special Rapporteur to the United Nations in his report, sir. It says the new marine and coastal area bill that is currently being considered within Parliament represents a notable effort to remove some of the principal areas of concern of the 2004 Foreshore and Seabed Act, sir. I mean, where else should you start? There was a complaint about our nation that went to the United Nations. And he came out here. The special rapporteur came out here. And he did a report. And nowhere in the report says it, does it say that there's anything wrong with this bill. What it sets out to do is exactly why the Māori Party came to fruition, sir. It was because of the repeal of that nasty piece of legislation. I want to turn first my, to my colleague, my whanaunga, Takutuakana, uh, uh, Sir Hone Harawira, who says, sir, that this, and if he says it often enough, he starts to believe it, him and his five or six friends, that it's a racist bill, sir. There's nothing racist about this bill. And you know why, sir? Because it actually returns a human right, a civil right, to a, to a group of people. That it, that, and that right was taken away from a, pe- from a people because of who they were, because of some fear that the judge might say, oh, we agree with them. The 2004 legislation was based around a fear of what may or may not happen. And the Labour Party are responsible for it, sir. 
So I want to talk, I want to turn now to uh, my mate, your mate, everybody's mate, Winston Peters, sir. Now, he was a, he was a consummate leader at, 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 uh, at garnering racial tension, sir. But I tell you what, I tell you what, he's got nothing on John Boscowan and the members of ACT who have not only lied, sir, they've lied their teeth, through their teeth, sir, over this issue. They've gone around the country, they've gone around the country, and they've, they, they have, they have, uh, uh, sir, they have asserted that the Māori Affairs Select Committee is a racist committee, is a committee that shouldn't hear a piece of legislation about Māoris, or Pākehās actually, or Europeans or anybody else, that we're not good enough to hear submissions, sir. So I want to get up to and say to that member over there who creates, who creates racial tension out in our communities, it's time, it is time, sir, that the extremists on both sides of the argument went away. Went away. They, they, it's time they took a slow boat to China or wherever else they want to go. Because the 90% of us in this country Black and white, sir, want to get on with our lives, want to get on with each other, sir. That's what this issue is all about. That's what this foreshore and seabed, marine and coastal area, Tokutai Moana Bill, is all about, sir. Mr. Speaker, Parekura Horamia said that this bill was nothing more than a disgrace. Well, you need to look in the mirror or two, depending on who you are. Sir Matidia Tude got up in this house and said this bill is about confiscation of Māori land. I don't know what sort of planet that lady's on, sir, but I tell you what, it's not Earth. Sir, this is nothing more than returning, returning a, per, a people's right to take an issue to court and ask the judge to say, do I own this or do I not? Simple as that, sir. As simple as that. Sir, the other things that this bill does, it guarantees access to the beach, access to the foreshore and seabed, access to the coastal and marine area, sir, access to the Takutai Moana, sir. You know, John Boscowan gets up in this house, sir, and he rabbits on about the coastal coalition. You know, I've been inundated with, with, with emails from the so-called coal coastal coalition, sir. It's nothing more than the, than the uh, membership list of ACT. That's all it is. Sir, we're not afraid of making progressive legislation with a very, very progressive party Māori Party and the National Party. I've got to tell my whanonga Shane Jones and his mate Hone Harawira that the days of smart aleck slogans on behalf of our people are gone. This government is about moving forward together, not some smart ass, smart aleck, sorry, smart aleck, oh goodness me. For goodness sake, the member comes from Rotorua. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, smart aleck slogans are not going to win Mr. Jones or Phil Goff the Treasury benches in a couple of months' time. That's right. What is going to win the Treasury benches, sir, is hard work, is the nose to the grindstone, sir, as we go about repairing the damage of nine years of that government, sir. Sir, I want to say, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to Paul Quinn, who was the only member, who was the only member to read 500 pages in four days. Sir, it, it, begs, it begs what Mr Parker said. He didn't have enough time. Mr Parker didn't have enough time. Well, sir, Mr Quinn did, and we are the benefit. We got the benefits of his reading capabilities. 
members. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. Contrary will say no. no. The ayes have it. Party vote. I'll ask the clerk to conduct a party vote. New Zealand National. 57 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 42 votes opposed. Green Party. 8 votes opposed. Act New Zealand. 5 votes opposed. Māori Party. Tokofai. Kaha Tautukwan. Progressive. 1 vote opposed. United Future. 1 vote in favour. Honourable Chris Carter. Honi Harawera. Any other votes? <laughs> Members, the ayes are 62, the noes are 56. The motion is agreed to. Marine and Coastal Area, Takatai Moana Bill, second reading. This bill is set down for committee stage next sitting day. Call on Government Order of the Day number two. Legal Services Bill, committee stage. I declare the House in committee for consideration of the Legal Services Bill. Mr Speaker. Mr Chairman. Oh, you caught up. <laughs> 